What's up, everybody? Coach Tim Springer, Spartan Basketball, back with another car series. Of course, got my two assistants riding with me. Uh, I think we're going to make that a staple in these car series. It's said maybe once in a while. Anyways, want to build more off this leadership swag. Really been loving the feedback and the response we've been getting from it. And I think it's really making a difference from what I'm seeing from the comments online, from what I'm seeing from my Spartan Basketball players. And I've even had the chance to speak at a few schools lately, and giving them that leadership swag, understanding, really makes a difference. You know, I think sometimes we just say, oh, be a leader, and, and you know, it's, it's, there's so much to that. That's a skill. That's like something you, you really have to build and be that. So especially for younger people in the, in the world, that may not be as easy to understand, but they all relate to the swag. So that's why we're kind of going with the swag thing. Plus, it makes leadership fun. You know, leadership should be exciting and fun. Is it a, a big responsibility? Yeah, hands down. There's no question about that. But it should be an enjoyable process. You know, I love being a leader. So if you haven't seen the other videos on leadership swag, that would be the first place I'd go to. You really need to kind of catch up to where we're at. Um, you can see them right here on the website. Or if you're looking at this on YouTube, it's coachspringer.com. The URL should be in the uh, in the description box there. Um, so... We talked about what leadership swag it is and that confidence and how you present yourself. And then we talked about the character, that you have to build character to have that. It doesn't just come. There's no natural born leaders. You have to build that character. Well, now let's talk about what's the process of building that character. And the first step is knowing where you're at. What, what characteristics do you have that make you a leader now? What things do you do that influence people? Because maybe you don't know you're a leader, but you are. If you're influencing somebody, you're leading them. So look at that and ask yourself. Just write a list. Take 30, 40 minutes and just write it down and say, this is what I'm doing now. I influence such and such here. This is how I do it. Okay? And then you want to do is think about that leader you want to be and make a list of all the characteristics that that leader would need to have. You know, I look at someone like, let's take the president. The president's obviously going to have to be organized. The president's going to have to be great at communication. The president's going to have to be good at delegation. The president's going to have to be good at decision making. A lot of different stuff the president's got to have. And maybe you don't need all of what the president has, but, you know, take a look at that. If you can't figure out too much, look at leaders and what, whatever situation you're trying to be, whether it be on the court or what it is. You know, I got a chance to watch one of um, the original players that I worked with starting coaching and, and she's a senior graduating senior this year phenomenal game I mean you know she led the way in scoring she led the way with assists she led the way with the statistical side of the game but what really was the intangible that you just could not you couldn't neglect was her leadership on the court when the younger players messed up she was there picking them up and keeping them going she organized this. She's the point guard. Hey, hey, you here, you here. Okay, now run the play. Calling the plays. Constant communication with the other leader, the coach. Oh, man. It, it, it made me proud to see what a leader she has become, although she's always had those natural abilities that would make her a great leader. Not that she was a natural born leader. We know, none of us are. But those things, you know, I look at that. And for me, what I did with that was I looked at my point guard at school, at, at the school I coach at, which great point guard young still needs to build some leadership skills and I said okay what is what is this one that I'm watching what does she have what does my point guard have and where do we need to bridge a gap and that's the exact same thing that you need to do for whatever you're doing and find leaders in, in your expertise find leaders in what you're trying to do and mimic that list those characteristics because then you can find ways in your daily habits and actions to start building those characteristics in your in yourself and that's critical. That That's absolutely critical. That's step one because it's not so much about what you do, but it's more about who you become for the sake of the success. And two, that's where the real reward comes in. So kind of long-winded today, but I'm very, 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 very uh, passionate about this part because it is all about who you become. And that's where the true reward is. Um, and that's, that's, that's the key to the success of it. So anyways... My assistant, Tim, you want to say anything to the camera? What do you want to tell him? Tell, look at the camera and tell him something. What are you going to tell him, buddy? Cars. 
See, he's a leader in the cars industry. Take care, God bless.